everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's kind of hard to believe, but I'm getting married in less than two weeks. And for my wedding, I'll be doing my own makeup. I really wanted to avoid the possibility that I would have a makeup artist who would, you know, make me look different than myself on the wedding day. And since I love to play with makeup anyway, even though I'm not an expert at it, I thought it would just be really fun to do my own the day of and carve that time out for myself. But I do need to practice. Today will be kind of a trial run for the look that I'm planning to use on the wedding day itself. I'm starting out with a moisturizer all over the face. This one's the Black Tea Corset Cream from Fresh, which I really like. It has a very slight tightening effect, but is also just really moisturizing and dewy. Then I'm going in with a primer. This one is from Tatcha, and it's the Silk Canvas. Putting on a lip scrub, this one's a basic Sephora one, just to get rid of that dead skin and patchiness. And then I'm starting on my concealer. This shade is a little bit dark for me because I just got a facial with microdermabrasion, but I think on the wedding day it'll be a little closer. And anyway, I'm just covering up dark spots, so it doesn't actually have to be um, lighter for like a brightening effect or anything. I really like this formula from Dior. It has good staying power and just looks velvety smooth once you've blended it out. And it doesn't end up looking too dry or cakey. On top of that, I'm putting a cushion foundation from Amore Pacific. This one is in shade 204 and I really love this formula. It has just the right amount of dew and bounce, so it kind of makes your skin look plump and a little bit glowy without looking totally wet like some Korean foundations. Next, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. Um, this one is Amber, a cool contouring shade. It's a little bit cool for me, but I like the way that it mimics the color of an actual shadow on the face rather than a bronzing effect. And I'm just blending that out with the blending brush from Fenty as well, which attaches magnetically, uh, which is really nice. Next, I'm going in with my brow pomade from Benefit, the Cabrow. And here I'm just focusing on adding a little bit of depth and color and thickness to my natural brow shape. Of course, blending out the roots with a spoolie and making sure that you know there aren't any harsh lines. From here, I'm going to set everything a little bit with the Kat Von D Locket Powder, which I really like. It has a very slight mattifying effect. And next, I'm going into eyeshadow. Now, this Chanel Quad has a sort of shimmery grayish color that I'm using as the base. And I like to use my fingers and just kind of pat it in because um, this avoids fallout and has a nice blended effect. And then at the outer corners, I'm just deepening that a little bit with the shimmery deep purple shade in the palette. With a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend that out in case there are any harsh lines. And with a short bristled brush, I'm dipping into the gray base color and the darker color just once each and slightly smoking out the lower lash line just a little bit. With my pinky finger, I'm applying a tiny bit of the pink shimmer shade closer to the inner corner and then using this YSL smoke stick with a champagne highlight on one end to uh, add a little bit of glitter to my under eye which will really brighten up the eyes and make them pop. Next, I'm going to take a black pencil eyeliner and tight line my lash line just so that there aren't any gaps And with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Black Eyeliner, I'm gonna go back in and draw my wing. So this makeup look is basically what I do almost every day, just with slightly different products and a little bit more makeup. Um, so this wing is just my usual shape. Following the natural curve of my eye, I'm first drawing a thick line along the lash line and then winging it out a little bit at the end. It's really tough to get the wings the exact same shape. It's taken me a lot of practice and I still don't get it right like 20% of the time. Next, 
Next for blush, I'm using this long comb, Lancome. <laughs> this Lancome product that I read about on Glossier and immediately went out to buy. Um, it's called the Monochromatic in French Affair, and it's this really lovely sort of reddish natural blush shade that you can also use on your eyes and I think on your lips. But I really like the flush that it imparts. It's not too dark and it's never patchy. Next, I'm going in with this cream highlighter from Son and Park. This shade is a little bit pinkish, um, it's really pearly, and I like the way that it sets. But I am going to go over it with a powder highlight just to make sure it sets and doesn't slide around um, because it is a cream highlight. So just layering a little bit of highlight powder on top of that. I really like a gleaming cheekbone and <laughs> that I wanted it to be kind of a focal point of the look. Next, we are going in with the dreaded eyelashes. <laughs> I normally don't wear false lashes, so this um, was kind of a small miracle. They went on pretty well. These are the MAC lashes, and they're pretty lightweight and easy to wear. Um, they're not flared or anything, so I'm not sure if this is the exact lash shape that I'm going to go for, but these were a good one to practice on. And at the end, just give them a little pet to like lift up the lash and open up the eye. I kind of struggle with having my lashes droop into my eye and make me sleepy as the day goes on. Now, I wasn't sure what kind of lip product to use, so I wanted to ask your guys' opinion. I um, have this MAC product that is like a true red classic lip, but I might start with a more nude toned down look. So first I'm taking this Makeup Forever lip liner. Um, I don't know what shade it's in exactly, but it's a pretty, you know, nude color, a little bit darker than my lips. That just gives my lips some definition and shape. And then next I'm gonna go in with this Dior Lip Tattoo. Um, I'll put the shade in the description box, I don't remember exactly, but it's a little bit more of a warm, toned down rose color, a little bit of a brown tone in there. Um, it kind of blends in nicely as a lip stain, doesn't look that heavy, although there's definitely some color there to work with. I'm also trying out my MAC Russian Red lipstick. Um, this turned out on camera a little bit more orange than I expected. In person it looks more like a true red, but here it's a bit orange and it's definitely a bolder look. What do you think? And finally, I decided to go with a third option, which was to basically wipe off the color so that there's a little bit of an, a stain underneath and then use this Dior Lip Glow to just give it some shine and a little bit of a glow from within, like more natural color. What do you think? Of the three, which one looks best and which one would you pick for a wedding look? Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you on the channel next time. Bye.